Dr. P.P. Singh, Director of Middle and Health Care and Research Center, Lucknow. How would you look at the pathophysiology in the last almost 45 years, 50 years? It was defined as asthma as a chronic inflammatory disorder of the airways. While in the management of the intermittent bronchial asthma, only short acne beta 2 agonists were advised. So there was a big gap and discrepancy was there while in the management was started with the mild intermittent asthma. So only Saba was playing a role and however it led to a misconception and mistreatment in the especially this segment of the patients. The studies also showed later on that those patients who were on the Saba only they had poorer outcome and studies also showed almost 30 to 37 percent patient of acute asthma almost 20 percent patient of the near fatal asthma and also 15 to 20 percent patient of asthma who were dying they had only few symptoms last three months and they can have the fatality of the disease and having very adverse outcome so that is why this gina guideline this year has specifically mentioned that we should use low dose inhaled corticosteroid and combination of formatrol or a lava and ICS in the low dose as a standard mode of treatment even for the mild intermittent asthma and for the mild persistent asthma and also as a reliever in moderate severe asthma this lava ICS especially the lava here they have especially mentioned the formatrol along with the low dose inhaled corticosteroid on the SAS basis as a reliever treatment so the concept why they have changed this concept as I already mentioned that even with the mild intermittent asthma they can have fatal uh, outcome so they all should be used using the controller medication whenever it is required the study showed very clearly that if these controller medication led to the better improvement lesser uh, acute exacerbations and also drop in significant drop in death almost to the tune of 64 percent so and formatrol was added as a reliever reason being that is a very short acting uh, immediate short duration of action initiation of action was there immediately it was acting within three minutes and also action was prolonged and it will also led to the improve in the lung function most of the studies has been with uh, brisonide and formatrol and a very uh, important and landmark trial that SMART was there and that paved the result and probably that was the reason it was in, induced and rather inducted into the this recommendation and this GINA guideline is a significant step in the last 50 years in presenting this statement that low intermittent asthma even mild persistent asthma they all should be treated with lava ICS uh, that is a really uh, significant change and uh, sea change thank you